Did you know that less than 20% of our ocean has been seen or explored by humankind? One aspect that keeps scientists and ocean enthusiasts interested is that our ocean is still referred to as a wild frontier. The habitats around today leave much to discover, but with climate change on the rise, each new discovery opens a new plethora of problems. New ocean discoveries disrupting old perception reinforces a larger truth. The deep blue is far more intricate and more involved with our own lives. From a mysterious blue goo to decoding whale language, scientists are making new breakthroughs every single day. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent discoveries. New Blue Goo A mysterious blue goo creature has been spotted on the floor of the Caribbean. Scientists are stumped as to what the alien-looking blob could be. On August 30th, during a National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association ocean exploration called Voyage to the Ridge 2022, scientists filmed what could be described as some sort of animal. The exploration expedition was intended to collect a variety of data, including acoustic data of seafloor and the geomorphology of the seafloor and below. NOAA hopes to improve our knowledge of the Atlantic Ocean's geology and how our actions affect deep-sea populations. A sponge, tunicate and soft coral are among the theories scientists have thrown out as possible explanations for the bizarre blob. It's not quite gooish, but doesn't seem particularly not gooish, one scientist said. The Caribbean Sea has the highest biodiversity of the Atlantic Ocean, flowing with several species such as small coral and large sharks and rays. However, according to a report from the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, this biodiversity is at risk, mostly due to human actions in the area. Pollution, including sewage, pesticides and toxic substances entering the oceans, can result in the uncontrollable growth of algae leading to lower oxygen levels in the water. For now, the blue goo is yet to be positively identified. The mystery will remain until a sample can be collected, or until we can send some of these images, which are really high quality, to some coral expert and see if those could indeed be some sort of coral. 230 Beached Whales about 230 whales were stranded on Tasmania's west coast, just a couple of days after 14 sperm whales were beached on one island in the southeastern coast. The pod, stranded on Ocean Beach, were pilot whales. A team from the Marine Conservation Program assembled whale rescue garments and headed to the area to offer assistance in the tragedy. Griffith University marine scientist Olaf Menecki said it was strange for sperm whales to wash up on beaches. He theorized that the warmer temperatures could be switching the ocean currents and the whales' normal food. The whales beached two years to the day after the largest mass stranding in Australia's history was discovered in the same harbour. Around 450 pilot whales were discovered on September 21, 2020, trapped on sandbars. After a drastic week-long effort, Around 100 of the whales were rescued, but the rest sadly passed and could not be saved. The opening to the harbour is known for its shallow and dangerous channel, often referred to as Hell's Gate. Last time they were actually in the harbour, and it's quite calm, and we could sort of deal with them in there, and we could get the boats up to them, Linton Kringle, a local salmon farmer, said. Wildlife scientist Vanessa Perotta was also on the scene. The fact that we've seen similar species, the same time, in the same location, reoccurring in terms of stranding at that same spot, might provide some sort of indication that there might be something environmental here, Perotta said. The pilot whale is notorious for stranding in huge numbers. Only 35 of the 230 are still alive, as of the 21st of September 2022, despite all rescue efforts. Decoding Whale Language According to an international team of scientists that has started a five-year journey, whales use a pattern of clicking noises referred to as coders to communicate back and forth. Like humans, 
different tribes have their own special dialects. Scientist Shane Gero is working to understand the whale group in Dominica. Gero studied two whales having an active conversation back in 2008. They used their coda for 40 minutes, communicating and swimming alongside each other. He had followed the specific mammals in the Caribbean for three years. Gero would record their communication but had not heard a conversation live before. He was entranced. What if scientists had the ability to unlock the meaning of these clicks? They could reveal a shocking understanding of our natural world. For 13 years following, he continued to record more than a thousand audio tracks of coders and clicks. With the tracks, Jero annotated other specific notes such as which whales clicked at which time, their behavior during, and who or what was in their surroundings. With whales, the big question is whether any of this stuff is even present. Jacob Andreas, a natural language processing expert at MIT and member of Project SETI, tells National Geographic, are there minimal units inside this communication system that behave like language, and are there rules for putting them together? Other scientists say observing their behavior to give the findings context should go along with the millions of coders needed for computers to recognize their speech patterns. For example, hunting or mating clicks may have a specific clicking pattern or tone. It's the cocktail party problem, David Gruber, a professor at the City University of New York, tells National Geographic. Scatter a few microphones around a party and they'll pick up snatches of conversation. But watch people, tracking who touches someone's arm, who scans the room for better company, and the whole scene starts to make more sense. To understand the specifics of whale communication, Project SETI will utilize specific audio and video equipment. Some of the tools, including high-resolution hydrophones that record 24-7, reaching thousands of feet under the surface, cameras that scientists will latch to whales using suction cups. These cameras can withstand pressure at extreme depths. Lastly, drones designed to move in water similarly to a fish so they can record without disturbance. Once scientists begin their recordings, they will count on advances in AI to gather and conclude the data, identifying key patterns and elements of the whale's language. After these elements are complete, then comes the exciting part, attempting to communicate back with the whales. The posse plans to test its conclusions by broadcasting the vocalizations to the whales and monitoring the results. Their goal is to get the whales to respond back. The question comes up, what are you going to say to them? That kind of misses the point, Jero says. It assumes they have a language to talk about us and boats, or the weather or whatever we might want to ask them about. The primary goal is simply to understand. It's not about us talking to them. This is about listening to the whales in their own setting, on their own terms. It's the idea that we want to know what they're saying, that we care. All three of these mysterious underwater discoveries have one thing in common. Maintaining their habitats is what will keep the research developed. With climate change on the rise, each of these fascinating findings are at risk. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.